So, we've had another WWDC, and that automatically means we get a new version of macOS. And this time it's macOS 15, or codename after a California place as Sequoia. And today, guys, just like recently where I installed iOS 18 onto an iPhone 15 Pro Max, I'm going to install the latest developer beta of macOS Sequoia onto a MacBook Air. This is the M2 model. It hasn't seen like the night of day of in ages. I haven't used this in ages. So I thought, why not? Let's install the developer beta onto it and see how well that goes. And today I'm going to show you all the details just like what I did with iOS 18. In fact, if you want to see the iOS 18 developer install and how to do that for yourself for totally free, then do check out the video what is above me right now. But going back to macOS Sequoia then, so with macOS Sequoia, what I would say is that you definitely need to back up all of your kind of data and things like this if it is on your main sort of MacBook that you use right now or Mac machine. And the best way you can do this is via a time machine backup and you can do this with an external hard drive or if you have a time capsule if you're lucky to have that use that too and all the instructions as you can see right here they're really easy to follow on Apple's website I would do a time machine backup highly highly recommended to do this get all your apps all your data recorded down and I'll definitely be leaving a link to that in the description of this video so that is the first ultimate step what you must do is back up everything because obviously with betas and things like this they can be bugged and they're not the most stable in their sort of early form especially this is Mac OS Sequoia beta 1 and it's also the developer beta it's really not going to be the most stable of all and with that I'd also highly recommend not to use it from day to day going forward I would just give it a go give it a try see what you think of the new functions and the abilities and features but then I'd personally revert back to Sonoma using your time machine backup that is personally what I would do here and make sure with that as well guys definitely do not turn on a time machine backup for Sequoia because it will overwrite the one that you have on Sonoma so just remember that at this time of making this video the other thing I want to mention with Mac OS Sequoia there are one or two machines that are missing now from last year with the minimum requirements to install macOS Sequoia and as you can see here here is the full list here of all the minimum kind of devices that can run macOS Sequoia and from my point of view I think the main thing I can notice here is that it could run with MacBooks from 2018 and now it says 2020 MacBooks so if you have the last Intel MacBook Air what came out in 2020 so we did have the M1 models come out the same year you can still run this at the same time so this will be really really good they came out the earlier part of 2020 and this was before WWDC and before the Apple Silicon got announced at that event well you can still install macOS Sequoia on those machines and practically most of all the other devices are exactly the same here I might be missing one other but I can't think of one on top of my head here but if you do know it put it down in the comments below if I am missing out another machine there but really, that is the main thing I want to say there. There may be an unpatched version soon into the future. But for the time being, this is the normal version. So, you know, we can actually use this, the actual developer's version. And the first thing I want to show you guys is how to set up a developer account. So what we're going to do is we're going to fling around this MacBook Air. And we're going to set up a developer account, first of all, to show you guys how to do that. And if you did this on the iOS 18, it's the exact same process to get it. So you can skip over this part. But if not, let's watch it then on this MacBook and how to do that. So setting up a developer's account is really easy to do so. All you have to do is go into Safari or into your local browser that you like to use on your Mac and you have to go to this website here at the top developer.apple Dot com. And again, I'll be putting the details or putting this link down in the description of this video. Go to this site here and you'll be presented with a very similar page to this. And then what you want to do is you want to click on account right here. Once you've clicked on account there, it may ask you to log in. Now, obviously what I've done is I've actually blocked out my email address here for my developers one. But what you need to do is put your email address in. After that, you can log in. In. and once you've signed in you will have here the developers account and what you don't need to do and I'll repeat this you do not need to purchase membership this is to make apps and things like this you just want to be a normal developer and so if you got any messages just before here to say do you want to 
make your iCloud account to be a developer, you just click yes. And just a note on that one, yes, you do need to sign in with the same iCloud account that you are signed into on your Mac that you want to install macOS Sequoia. Once you have done that, you are all ready to go from the developer side. But I will repeat again, you do not need to buy the membership. So if it does say that you need to buy membership or if you want to sign off apps in the App Store, please do ignore this because that is to actually make apps. A developer can actually get access to all of the betas too. So once you have your developer account all set up and also that you have your time machine back up all done, like I said, on macOS Sonoma, that is really, really a key thing to do. Go back earlier into this video to find that guide and also the descriptions in the details you know, of this video. Look at all that information and make sure you definitely do a backup. I'm warning you now to do that. So yeah, with that all out of the way, let me show you then the next step then in how to install macOS Sequoia onto your Mac. So like I said, as long as those last few steps have been done with the backup with the time machine and also you made your developers account what you want to do is you want to go to the apple in the corner up here and then what you want to do is go to system settings and then once you're in system settings what you want to go is go to the general here on the left hand side here and then you want to go to software update so this one right here and then what will happen is you'll actually see that it says beta update is switched on. You'll have this now because you are now a developer. If it doesn't appear, what I'd recommend is just restart your Mac and then it should appear. What you want to then do is change this. You want to press the little I here next to off. And then what we want to do is we want to turn this on. And then you can see here now we have Mac OS Sonoma developer beta, the public beta for macOS Sonoma, and then we also have macOS Sequoia developer beta. And it's easy as that, we just select that there. The other way you can tell it's definitely working is because you'll have your app ID in the sort of box here, what's blurred out as you can see right here. But then what we do is we click done at the bottom, just do that and what will start to happen, it will start searching for macOS Sequoia. So it's just checking here, give it a second or two to find that. And then once it has found it, it will start to ask you questions if you want to download it. And there we go. We can see here it's now going to ask me, do I want to download it? Mac OS 15 beta. So this is the newest version now. And all we have to do now is just press upgrade now. Click agree to this. So I'm just going to do that. Put in your passcode or whatever into the actual screen. So I'm just going to do that now quickly. <clears throat> And then once that's in, Mac OS 15 will start downloading. And it depends on how fast your broadband speed is or your kind of internet speed is, how long it will take to download on here. So yeah, that is a big factor here. And then once it's actually downloaded, it actually needs to prep all the files ready. But don't worry, it will tell you when it's ready to actually restart and everything. And it will come up with a little pop-up up here in the corner. It will just say, restart or what you'll have here is a restart button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the camera here though at this stage here, the recording, because obviously when it does the full download, it won't actually continue downloading. It won't continue recording for me. So just trust me here. It will come up with a pop-up saying, do you want to restart now? Or what it will say is you can press upgrade now or restart now to start the upgrade process. And during that whole process, your MacBook or your Mac will probably might restart about two or three times during that process. Don't worry, just wait until you get to the main login screen, put in your password again, and then you're presented to the main screen, what looks like this. And as you can see right here, we're now on macOS Sequoia. So what I can just do is here, if I go to the system settings here, and let's just go to the about page. And if we scroll down here, you can see here, we're on macOS 15 here. And obviously this is the beta version. So yeah, it's really, really cool. And just another demo here for you. Obviously one of the new things is the new calculator. So if I open up notes here, so if I just do something simple, like I don't know, five plus five, equals there we go that's the new kind of calculator that's built into apps now you can't do that on sonoma or below so yeah that's just a proof there that we're definitely on mac os sonoma and that's how easy it is to install onto your macbook or your mac so like i said guys that is how easy it really is so we now have mac os sequoia 
on our MacBook or my MacBook Air with the M2 inside of it. And you can try it out on your Mac right now. Just make sure it's definitely compatible to run it. And at the moment, there is no kind of patched version to run it on older MacBooks at the moment, older Macs. And when that does come available, I will make a video for that. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell, because when that video comes available, I'll definitely be making one of them for you. But with that, guys, will you be testing out macOS Sequoia? Let me know in the comments below, because I'd love to know if you're going to test it out or if you're going to keep it. But if you do test it out, like I said right at the beginning of this video, please definitely make sure that you do a backup on Time Machine. And if you do do a backup on Time Machine, if you want to restore it, all you have to do is follow the steps that are in the description below in how to restore it back to macOS Sonoma. And I'll be leaving a link for that too in my actual sort of description down below. But with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And if you also you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, comparisons, and guides like we've done today, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.